Now that we know how to bring our assets in, now it's time to use those assets and actually create something. So what we're going to be doing today is, is I'm going to be doing a little bit of a mini documentary here. It's kind of a cross between a news story and a mini documentary, and they're really kind of the same thing. You have a commentator, which either is a person who you've hired or your reporter. And then, of course, you've got sound bites where you have interviews where people are talking, and then you have B-roll, which goes over the commentator or the reporter. So what I'm going to do to bring my assets in is right here in the right-hand side of the bin window, just like I did before. I'm going to double-click the left mouse button. I'm going to go ahead and pick the story, and I am going to pick the reporter track and select open. Now that I have both of these in here, the way I'm going to start this is I'm going to work with audio first. Because really my commentator is going to make all the difference of where I'm going to place my sound bites and where my B-roll is going to be. So you can do it one of two ways. You can double click on a file and it sends it over into the player window or you can drag the file whichever is more convenient for you. Either one of those works. Now because of the fact that I don't have waveform inside of my player window and because of the fact that I want to be able to see the entire thing anyway while I'm working on it, I'm going to go ahead and drop it to the timeline. Now, notice that the V block is completely blacked out because it's an audio file sitting up in the player window, but I also only want my first channel coming in. So I'm going to just left click and select A2, and you'll notice that it's grayed out now. And with it done that way, I'm also going to bring out, using the arrow key, I'm also going to bring out my controller to one second because I want a little bit of video before the audio pops in because I don't want it to be so abrupt for people watching it. And once I have my controller there, I'm going to use either the overwrite, which you can see inside the brackets there, which is the right bracket key, or the insert, which shows the left bracket key is the keyboard shortcut to bring it down. I'm going to go ahead and hit the right bracket key. And as you can see, and I grab my shuttle here, bringing it all the way back, my second channel didn't come in. There was no video that came down with it. Now, though, I want to be able to see my waveform so I can see very easily how to do this. If I go to this little button right here, just to the left of the track name, and I select it, you'll see that it drops down, and now I have my waveform sitting right there to where I can see it as well as hear it. Now, just so you know, I'm 51 years old, I'm a grandpa, so I need it a little bit larger, and so if I just grab up there on the top of it, you can see that there are different levels of being able to see it right there. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, though, for training's sake. Now, three keyboard shortcuts is all I need to be able to work with audio on the timeline. In other words, be able to trim it up and get it to where I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and listen to it. Right here in the beginning. Utah Lake, located in the wash three, two, one mark. Okay, so my commentator here has kind of screwed up in the very, very beginning. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to set an endpoint at the beginning of my track, and then right after she says three, two, one, mark, I'm going to set an out point. So I'm going to hit I and O, and as you can see, there's an in and out on the timeline. Now, if I hit the D as in dog key, you'll notice that it goes away, and it deletes between the in and out. However, I now have a lot longer blank in the beginning, so I really don't want that to happen. So I'm going to hit Control Z, undo, which brings back both the in and out points and the part that I deleted. And this time, I'm going to hold the Alt key down while I tap the D as in dog key. And you can see what happens. The in and out goes away, and now everything's been rippled back to that one second to where now my commentator is starting right where I wanted them to start. So let's go find the next one. Utah Lake, located in the Wasatch Mountains in Utah, with a surface area of nearly 97,000 acres. When you first see the pump house, you might think this is a long forgotten building like so many others that were built over a hundred Now I'm listening ago. through this and because I'm looking for different places. Now in the script normally would tell me where, where it changes. But since I don't have the script with me, I'm just sitting here listening. One mark. Here's the three, two, one mark right there. And all I have to do is just do exactly what I did before. Now, I set an in. After the three, two, one mark, I set an out. And then once again, Alt D. And as you can see, we're going to be going through the rest of this Today, rather quickly, but I'll do it over and over again. And this is the way I cut the audio up. One pump in 1957. Three, two, one mark. <clears throat> three, two. Okay, so here I see she does her mark. She kind of clears her throat, does her mark again right there, set the out point, Alt-D. And literally, guys, I uh, just I-O-Alt-D, I-O-Alt-D. 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 I-O-Alt-D.
three. Okay, there we have another mark right there. So basically, once again, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Now, my good friend Pat Sipes, he does it a little bit differently. So I'm going to show you the little bit different way of doing it this way just because of the fact that I want to pay homage to my good friend. But he, after the beginning, will sit there and select the clip, make sure that the clip is selected. He'll hit the C key to cut, and then he'll come down here and just use the trim key, Alt N, to be able to pop over. So My that's a different way of being able to do it. time at the pump house during that disaster. This historic building has and will continue to do its job and do it well. Okay, so we finish up here, and now you can see if I hit the one second right there to where everything's going to fit in that everywhere that she said 3, 2, 1 mark or anywhere on the script that's saying, okay, we need to have a break here, now has a break in between it. And I've gotten rid of those areas just by very simply I, O, Alt, D. I, O, Alt, D. Three keyboard shortcuts and you can cut up everything right there on the timeline and be ready to start putting in your sound bites.